It's now been one week tonight since uh, Typhoon Haiyan became the most powerful storm ever to hit land. And, of course, we've now seen what it did to the Philippines. As of tonight, more than 3,600 people are dead, 1,200 missing, close to 2 million people displaced. Think about all the schools that are destroyed. Sadly, one week later, so many people are still waiting for help to reach them. Tonight, Dr. Nancy Snyderman is with a team of Israeli doctors who specialize in flying in to help the hardest hit populations on Earth. They did it in Haiti, and tonight they're at work in the Philippines. headed this way. Are the Israelis over in that building? Yeah. The Israelis chose a hospital that wasn't in such bad shape, but it needed to have the roof repaired. They came in yesterday, made the repairs, and they're already seeing the first patients all within 24 hours. Though damaged, this will serve as headquarters and house 60 Israeli doctors and nurses. As they always do, this strike team comes totally self-sufficient with enough medical supplies, food, and water. Why come to the Philippines? Because uh, it's a sense of helping your brothers wherever they are. So it doesn't matter your age, your color. The team is setting up a high-tech system to track each patient. But because there are so many people waiting, patients are identified with a slip of paper and a number. A week into this crisis, the medical problems are dehydration, diarrhea, respiratory illnesses, and many cases of fever in the children. Oh, you're, he's hot. Everyone has fevers today. All the children are hot. It's hard when your baby's sick. The town remains as the storm left it a week ago. Buildings destroyed, the water system broken. And it's brutally hot and humid. The stress shows on everyone. Young and old, the sick, and those who just want to be checked. More people than they can handle. How do you bridge that gap and still depart? You give what you can and then you go. We can't stay here forever. Three hours old. Congratulations, Mom. But even in this desperate situation, there's hope. A healthy baby's been born. His name, Israel. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, Bogo, Philippines.